Hey guys, RC here. Welcome to Stranded Deep. Uh, so, if you're wondering why I am uh, starting a Stranded Deep save, well, I like the game a lot. Uh, and also, I had been playing uh, Subnautica and uh, noticed my last three episodes uh, basically had zero views. Which means, uh, you know, you guys have lost interest, and if you've lost interest, then... You know, it's time for me to move on to something else. So uh, here we are. I've been wanting to play this for a while, uh, but we will uh, we will talk about the game if you have never played it before. Uh, of course, the way I play, you're probably familiar with. Um, if you've watched any of my episodes, I do uh, a lot of tutorial style playing just because that's how i roll all right you know let's see i want to craft uh all right i've got some lag here there we go all right let's go ahead and kill us a, uh, a crab here we will pick him up i always pick up the, I always kill a handful of crabs as I'm walking around, kind of getting my my stuff together. Uh, let's see. See these purple things? Look, when you get close, they raise up those, those uh, black spikes. They will poison you, so do not get uh, too crazy about stepping on those. They will poison you. You will need to craft a... Uh, a PP plant potion to uh, sort that out. Let's see, that's four crabs. That's enough. That's one stack. Everything crafts about four high. All right, cloth does come in handy. We will need uh, some more rocks. Let's come see what's out on this particular ship. So you're looking in containers, but you're also looking for these. And in fact, we are going to drop that in there. And that will be helpful. In fact, let's head back over to our raft area. And we will drop off that crate. We will also drop off the rocks. Uh, we've got one PP plant. We will definitely want some more of those. Uh, but let's uh, let's see. Let's oh yeah, crabs. Let's drop those. There we go. All right, we'll go this way this time. Uh, let's see another rock. On your starting island, uh, which is right is the first island that you embark on. Uh, you will not have any wildlife of note to worry about as far as things that can attack you. So haven't played this in a while on my channel. I have played it uh, for sure, uh, personally. So there's a f uh, there was just a recent update, uh, but the, um, the big things from before are uh, giant uh, crabs and a wild boar on the island and there's typically one wild boar two crabs and two snakes on each island and okay we got all i think i'm missing one in there you get six fibrous leaves you can also pick that and plant it but we're not going to do that right now uh, another stick these fibrous leaves are honestly probably the most important thing that you can get in the early going uh, so i recommend grabbing those as quick as you can we'll pick up those pp and everything else but we don't need them right now um, another stick anything out here there is a wreck right there, that little water splashing. We will get out there. It looks like a wreck out there as well. So we will get out there at some point. But my first thing here early in the day is to, I always try to get the palm saplings. 
and that's another new thing uh, you can see there. I'm going to go ahead and pick the potato. Uh, is the the harvesting has gone up, and we'll look at that in a minute as well. But the, you basically have skills now, and you cannot build everything from the start of the game. Uh, you have to earn your way uh, through levels to open up new recipes and what have you. And uh, so we'll we'll look at that as well. And you you. You build up your levels. It's like any other game where you level up is you do stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see. But I like to get the saplings right away. And, you know, this gives you these fibrous leaves. You use these for making all sorts of stuff. And, again, we'll talk about that as we do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a coconut. And we've got room for one more thing if I have any more space unfortunately it looks like this starting island only has one one tree with the leaves on it which is that one right there the ficus tree or um, the yucca tree I'm sorry uh, so a lot of islands have two this one appears to only have one and that is not good. So let's check something real quick. So we're at the 15th of December. You can see our SPF is ticking down because we are in the sunlight. It is a, uh, it's an all year thing now, but I want to go out here. We're going to drop off the sticks. Uh, let's see. We're going to drop off that and that. We'll drop off the potato. We're going to drop off some more rocks. We'll drop off the coconut. All right, and we're going to make a uh, lashing. And we are going to make a refined knife. And what I want to build here is our tool belt. So I want to make another lashing. All right, and then we will make our tool belt. And what the tool belt does, let's equip our knife. And if we hit tab, you can see we now have four items unlocked. I don't know why. No, what number one is unlocked. You just can't see the, the lock. So if I press and hold the number one for a minute, you'll hear it click. And now you can see we have the knife in the number one slot. So if we sheath it, now we can hit number one and it'll come back out. So that's cool. So we'll sheath that. Let's get out on the ship here. They're much easier to climb now. That's good. And we'll get up on top. All right, we've got a lashing in there. Doesn't look like there's anything there, but we do have a wreck off the side here. So let's swim out here just to see, make sure. A lot of times these little wrecks will have uh, these wood chests in them. It does not. All right, we already went on that one. Now, when you come out into the deeper water, there are sharks. There are lionfish, which can poison you. And there are sea snakes, which can poison you. Giant grouper are not uh, aggressive. Oh, there we go. There's our container. Let's go ahead and plop that in there and get that. Oh, and we're, we have to watch our oxygen. All right. While you're under here, just kind of scan around. I think that's a clay node. Yep, so we're going to want that at some point. And again, I'm just looking for those purple things. We don't want to step on those. Later on, it won't be a huge issue, but, you know, right now, we just, you know, you just want to have as little problems to deal with as you can. All right, we're going to drop these on the beach here. All right, so we have uh, a lashing, some cloth, an engine. 
So another engine, another lashing, a jerry can. So those will stack there. All right, let's go ahead and put our cloth in there. I'm going to put the lashing on the beach here because we will be using that. And all right, we'll do that. So what do we want to make here? First thing I want to make is a water catcher. If you right click on anything in your build menu, it'll pop up here so you don't have to remember. But, but you can see we have to be level two to make that. So the first thing we're going to want to make is our shelter and a fire. But I want to make an ax first. So I want a, a lashing. Yep. I want, I need two of these and a stick and that will allow us to make a crude axe and we're going to equip that and we could put that in our number one slot now that'll be our primary item that we're going to want to use now now that we've gotten to level one so anything any of the tools we can really make so if we go back now I still I still need can't make this so let's make our fire well you know what let's make our shelter because you can't save until you have that all right so we're gonna want our other lashing that we found I am gonna come up here we're gonna chop down this palm tree I picked the coconuts first they will fall off after you cut the tree down you can pick them up after but it saves me from having to run off with them all right we're going to right click that and drag it out and then i want to Ooh, there was a sapling right there we want that basically everything that you do will generate some skill points all right there's our palm fronds excellent and i don't don't need this right now, so we're going to make some sticks out of it. There we go. All right, so we've got four palm fronds, so now we can build the shelter. And we're just going to build this. We're not going to come back to this island, but we're going to point that. That'll be the next island I think we go to. So now that we have this, we can save. That's awesome. And let's see gonna drop that I'm gonna drop that all right let's get our axe back out we're gonna pick if you hit a coconut it'll become drinkable and if we look at our thing you can see you have health which is the heart hunger which is the ham or the turkey leg uh, thirst which is the water drop and SPF which is your sunburn factor uh, how much sun protection you have. Right now it's at 100% because we're in the evening, but during the height of the day, uh, that will go all the way to zero, and at that point you will start taking damage and dehydrating. So uh, let's go ahead and drink that, and you can see we gained almost one bar back, and if we drop it and re-equip our axe, and we hit it a couple of times, now it's coconut halves, which are edible, and boom, two of those fill up one bar. So that's awesome. All right, now the next thing we want to do is we want to build probably a fire. I'm thinking a fire. So let's grab four sticks. And we're just going to build the fire right here. All right, and where is my knife? right there and we had put down these crabs right so we're gonna skin a crab or cut open a crab we're gonna press and hold E and you can see that gave us a small crab meat the other thing I want to do is I want to come over here and we want to make some kindling we need kindling to start a fire so you put the kindling in your hand you hold E now this takes your physical and you see the bar at the bottom and so this is actually a new function in a recent update the next to last one and you just press the left and right mouse buttons 
uh, alternating. If you go too fast, you will uh, tire out. We're going to equip that crab meat, and now you can see hold E to attach, and it'll stick a spike down there with the crab on it, and that'll start to cook. So we get a little bit of light, a little bit of ambiance, and uh, we're going to go ahead. So that's how you cook. So in the beginning, and that's why I do the crab while I'm gathering, because now you can see at the end of the day when I'm getting around to actually starting to set up base, it's dark, and the crab go back in the water. So during the day, they're out on the beach and you can see them. So while we're think while that's cooking, I want to come back over here. And inside our raft, we have some storage. We have a bandage, a compass, and three rations. Now, a ration will give you food and water. So, But I save those for, like, emergencies, um, you know. And you'll so and what the crab meat does or the small meat, if we look here, a small meat will do half a bar. I think it's half a bar. A meat no, it does one bar. I'm sorry. One small meat does one bar of food. A medium meat does two bars, and a large does I think three bars. So while that's cooking, we've built that. I still need to get to level two. So you know what? I'm going to build a fire pit. So I need three rocks. And we're just going to come up by our fire because it takes that and we can build that. And what else? What else can I build? Um, okay, you heard that ding? That's the crab meat being done. So now it's cooked. So we're going to go ahead and take that, pocket it, and then we can put out the fire. So the fire burns wood, so put it out when you're not using it. And we don't really need the food just yet, so I'm going to keep that for the morning. But what I am going to do is I'm going to crack another coconut. And it's drinkable now, right? So we're going to drink it, drop it, and I'm going to leave that coconut for right now. It's 7.30, so it's still a little early. All right, we've already built that. You know what? I could build another lashing, but I don't want to waste the lashings right now because that's all the fibrous leaves I have. So lashings are, you know, you need them for a lot of stuff, but you have to, you know, balance out early in the game, right? You know what we could do? I'm going to go ahead and go out to the ship here. All right, we're going to come up on board. Um, I don't think I went inside. I did not. All right, so we have a container here with another compass and a locker, air tank, rations. The hammer's very important. Sadly, nothing in that one. All right, we're going to take our hammer, and we're going to break these barrels. All right, so let's park that, and then we're going to grab these, we're going to throw them up towards the beach. All right. We're going to bring these up on the beach where they won't get lost. All right. That one's fine. You don't want them anywhere near the water because tides do come in. Waves come in during storms. So I'd like to stand these up if I could just to, you know, just to alleviate them running off anywhere, you know? Uh, come on. There you go. All right. I'm also going to grab these peepees while we're here. And I know there's nothing on the island. Uh, they do, you know, I would not normally wander around an island during the, uh, you know, during the dark without a light or, uh, <laughs> You know, something to help me figure out what's there. I want to stay out of the water because of those purple things. But, you know, kind of remember where they're at. Get a feel for that. But what I'm picking up now is just all of the consumables. Making sure we've got everything from the beach area, all the rocks. Now, the fibrous leaves... I mentioned that those, oh, there's one right there. So let's go ahead and chop it. And where's it at? There it is. All right. So 
the reason that I do those is they grow back. Oh, this island has three peepees on it. That's awesome. Um, the reason I do that is because they regrow on a two-day growth cycle. So the sooner you pick them, the sooner they start to regrow and they'll replenish. Now, this island, I, sh I said, only had one, um, one tree. Uh, so it's not very helpful to us. So we want to find a uh, island that has at least three, right? All right, we're going to come over here because we had a compass there. We're going to store it. Now we've got two. And we also had a ration, which stacks four high. So now we've got that taken care of. Uh, we're going to put the uh, air tank here. Um, I'm going to put down these plants and the peepees. Uh, the hammer. Do I have any room in here? I do. So I don't need the hammer right now. And I'm going to want the scrap, probably. I'm going to want to take that with me. And I'm going to want to take that with me. So that's taken care of. All right. It's kind of late at night. So why don't we go ahead and call it a night? I'm going to go ahead and save. We're going to go ahead and sleep. I don't like recording in the dark if I can help it. And I can't go diving during the during the night so now we've woken up it's almost five o'clock we are thirsty and we are hungry so let's go ahead and eat the meat before it goes bad so again we're two bars down on food we eat that we're one bar up let's go ahead and hit our coconut we can drink that now all right and we'll drop that and we'll cut one of these now, the thing with coconuts, do not go hog wild on them. I think you can drink two coconuts and you can eat one coconut without getting sick. Just like in real life, if you eat too much, right, of a coconut, it will give you the runs and then you get dehydrated. So we are thirsty. Um, I've already drank that, so it's empty. So let's come over this way. I don't know if coconuts regrow. I really don't. Um, coconuts. Awesome. All right, we're going to head back. Let's see, that's my raft. You can see how dark it is. All right, there's the barrels. I can kind of see over here a little bit. All right, and you can see it's rolling away. <laughs> All right, we'll drop that. All right, what else can we build? Anything I can build? Well, I don't want to use the lashing yet. And what I want to build is this, but I have to get to level two. So yeah, there's really, I guess that would be the best thing. A cloth and a lashing. All right, so let's make a lashing. And I had a cloth in here. All right, so let's make that. All right, there we go. So now that's opened up a second spot. So now we can equip our knife, right? And we can put that in the number two spot. Oh, it opens up two and three. Cool. All right. Now that has now afforded us to make the water still. All right, so what I need now is another lashing. I need palm fronds. So let's come cut down this little palm tree here. I always cut down the little ones, not the big ones, because the big ones give you more shade. And remember, that comes into play with the SPF. You have to have shade to protect you. All right. Now, here's a, a tip. If you hit that enough, it will separate from the trunk, right? Which I don't need. Um, do I need the log right now? I don't. No, I don't. 
All right, so I want... I would not normally do this because, you know, later in the game, because you, you might want sticks, but you might want to make planks. And you can see that gives us harvesting. By the way, once you open your watch, which is the F key, hit your left mouse button. There's our skills. So hunting, we're, we're a one out of seven. Cooking, we're zero. Physical, or uh, harvesting, we're three. Physical, we're zero. And I don't know, uh, construction, we're two. Okay, so you can actually stack these. So if you look, and these stack four high. Now the individual palm fronds only stack four deep. So you get five palm fronds from one, one of these, right? So if you're going to bring these back to another island, leave them like this, and you can stack four of these together, which gives you, that's right, 20 palm fronds which would take up five spaces in a storage capacity. So it's just easier to do. All right, so we want uh, three rocks. I need another cloth right there. And I need one more lashing. I've already made one, and you'll see why I need that in a minute. All right, there's our coconut. Let's pick that up. All right, we need to make a consumable coconut flask. That's what we need right here. Now, here's what's interesting. It takes a whole coconut. So when we make that, guess what? It's actually drinkable. So let's drink it. And now it still works, but we have everything we need to make our water still. All right, so we're going to build that right up here next to our shelter. We're going to build that, and then we have these palm fronds. And you can see the circle in the middle filled up with the solid white bar. Well, it takes four palm fronds, or you can use the fibrous leaves, right, to fill this up. Now, later, you'll have plenty of fibrous leaves, but in the early going, those are worth their weight in gold because of all the lashings you've got to make. So you don't want to waste those on your water still. So you use some palm fronds in the early going. So there we go. So that what that's going to do now that we've filled it up is it's going to create four drinks of water. Each drink of water fills up one bar. So we've got water production. We've got food production to a certain extent. Uh, I And now it's late enough I want to go diving all right so we went out there right remember I think we got everything off of there let's just go double check all right and you can see our physical is going up all right Is that it right there? I think so. Yeah, there it is. All right, yes, we did go in here, remember? Yeah, all right. So again, you want to be careful out here. There are sharks, and we have now survived one day. Now, hitting the, the shift button, that you see the yellow bar pop up. That is a uh, stamina bar. So you can actually put short burst of running or swimming so like to get away from a shark <laughs> or to get to the surface if you're drowning. All good things to try to get away from quickly. All right. There is a wreck out there. So again, we want to make sure we have plenty of room in our backpack or in our inventory. Ooh, purple thing right there. Stay away from that. All right. I want to try to get there it is right there. All right, so again, we're looking for lionfish and sea snakes to stay away from. There's the wreck right there. There's a sea snake. Oh, they have buoy balls out here. All right. Oh, inside, awesome. All right, let's go ahead and pocket that. Let's swim up to the surface and get us some air. 
All right, you got to stay up for a second. It doesn't replenish right away. Now, some of these have under under deck areas. Uh, always check to see if there's a container inside. But the only other thing on here, now you see those big fish? Those are cod. Those are medium, uh, medium uh, meat. Oh, there's one right there. And we're going to pick that up. And let's go ahead and swim up. All right, and we're just going to pick these balls up as quick as we can. They do stack four to a thing. So there's five buoy balls, and we'll talk about why these are important. All right, again, I'm looking, just make sure there's no, no sharks, just, you know, and then I want to get back up into the shallows. Sharks cannot swim up on these plateaus, and that's a re, oh, there's a big shark. You see how he turned away right there? He cannot get up here. Now those reef sharks, the small ones, they won't attack you. That guy, he's a badass and he will come and take a chunk out of you. You're a criminal and he will take a bite out of crime. Now how do you fight those? Well, you make spears with uh, branches and uh, that will uh, give you some defense against him and it will allow you to kill him at some point now there are several levels of spears all right let's see tell you what we're at 30 minutes so let's go ahead and put a cut here for episode one we'll come back i'm going to go ahead and organize these off camera we'll come back here in a minute we'll do x uh episode two we'll try to finish this island and then we'll try to get out of here to another island Hit that like button, especially here on episode one. That helps more people find it. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you're excited about uh, a Stranded Deep series. And guys, we will see you next episode. Have a good one. Bye.